do not believe that these incidents translate to a significant increased risk to the general population. We urge you, therefore, not to panic. Our intelligence suggests that these incidents are not random acts, but rather well calculated with, targeted, with targets pre-selected, most having a connection to organized crime. We believe the motive behind these incidents is drug-related, with the violence stemming from settling disagreements and jostling for influence. It's a great initiative that persons must take a hold of in every way possible. Now this is an opportunity for you to turn in an illegal firearm without the fear of prosecution. No prosecution would follow once you turn in the firearm. What is also nice about the amnesty is that no information should be gathered from you in relation to the firearm. You don't even have to identify um, who you are by name or address or anything. You walk in, you turn in a firearm, you say this is an illegal firearm, you turn in the firearm, no questions asked of you. The thing among the young people these days that snitches get stitches. Right. So um, I may say, well, if I turn in my firearm and Kimba has his, Kimba may get at me because he knows I don't have one now. Right. So, but at the same time, I don't want to snitch hmm. on Kimba. On Kimba. You see? You know? Mm. But um, again, it goes back to some of the things we said earlier. It is more dangerous for you as an individual, I believe, to know that nothing is being done about the firearm that Kimba has than to know that you gave the police the information and something is going to be done about the firearm that Kimba has. I don't have mine, but I'm going to make sure that he doesn't have his either. So I'm going to give the police the information so that they could work on getting Kimba's firearm. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win for everybody.